tired of the same old, same old? Want to try something new? Well, if battling the best bowlers in the world wasn't enough, these eight competitors will face off against another foe. The clock. Just needs one. Oh, he's got it! He's a winner! You want it? You got it! That's right. It's man versus time. Two minutes to roll as many strikes as you can. So you better strike fast. Nothing less than perfection will get the job done. It's knock down all ten or bust. He's cooking now. A whirlwind event. A race to the finish line. Next one's gonna be winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who will lift the trophy? Only time will tell. It's the PBA Strike Derby on Fox. This is Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine, one of the best atmospheres in the history of the PBA Tour. It's time for the 2023 PBA Strike Derby on Fox. Eight of the world's best bowlers are here. Each will get two minutes to get as many strikes as possible. When the dust settles, we will have a champion. Here are the competitors, the top eight bowlers for the 2023 PBA Tour season in total strikes in tournament play. The defending champion is Kyle Troop, the top seed. Look at the names. Big time bowlers, future Hall of Famers are here in all. Six two-handers, two one-handers, two one and only one lefty. Welcome, Bowen fans. PBA Strike Derby here on Fox for Bayside Bowl. We love the atmosphere. We love the fans. Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer. Randy Peterson joined by Kimberly Pressler. Lane Level in a moment as well. Nothing quite like this atmosphere and nothing quite like the competition. It's really tough for these great bowlers in two minutes to reel off as many strikes as they can. You know what the movie Zombieland yep. and the PBA Strike Derby mm -hmm. have in common? The number one rule, cardio. Get off as many quality shots as you can in two minutes. And the one thing that all eight players have in common today, power, and power reigns supreme. But make no mistake about it, this competition is all about skill, endurance, and athleticism. We checked the bracket. We talked about Kyle Troop. As the top seed will take on Marshall Kent, Belmo by Tackett Svensson, Simonson against Matt Ogle will be the last quarterfinal. And Kyle Troop is our defending champion. Well, the hometown Lumberjacks last year won it in this building, thrilling the crowd. Time now to meet Kyle Troop. A 10-time PBA champion, the 2021 PBA Player of the Year in defending, strike derby champion, Kyle Troop. Kyle, we are back at Bayside, and this crowd absolutely loves you. You are the defending champion. How are you going to make it a repeat? I got to stick to my game and uh, build off of the energy of this crowd. The best, the best fans in bowling here at Bayside Bowl, uh, they sound like they like me a little bit, so I'm going to put on a show for them. Can't yes, really. you are. And since you're the number one seed, you get to decide if you're going to go first or last. What did you decide? Uh, I'm going to let Wa I'm going to let Marshall show me how it's done first, and then hopefully just better, better him up. Well, let's hope that works for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Troop, the defending champ against Marshall Kent, ultra talented, one handed right hander who's a tremendous athlete. Two minutes per round. Throw as many strikes as you possibly can. There is something new this year the Golden Pin Challenge. During every player's round, a Golden Pin will be inserted into the rack. If a player strikes, it counts for two strikes. But wait, there's more. If these players strike with a Golden Pin five times combined, everyone across the nation. Wins a free game at any Bolero Center. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Head to bolero.com slash PBA right now to get in on the act. I'm sorry, did somebody say free bowling? Someone said it. I said it. Here's Marshall Kent. He owns five PBA Tour titles. Former PBA Rookie of the Year, Marshall Kent. Arguably the fittest bowler on the PBA Tour. Tremendous athlete, and here we go. Two minutes for Marshall Kent. Got one. You see the time left. Ooh. 
Bottom left of your screen, the big scoreboard as well behind him. Looking for his second strike. Got two. He said this year he was going to try to make more quality shots, not how many he could throw in two minutes. And right now, he has not missed the pocket. And three strikes so far. You can Looking see for another. Oh! Check out Strike Track. You can see the line that he's playing and how close he is with each and every shot. Trip 10 pin there. There's the oh, golden head spin, the golden but he pin. missed it. Would have been two strikes. So, misses an opportunity. Left lane. There's there help go. on the 10 pin. Yeah, that's that power we talked about at the top. He's got five, still plenty of time. Now the endurance, Randy, really comes into play because we're in the second minute. This is tough. Fitness is critical. The balls are lined up on the rack. This guy's a stud. He's in the gym daily. Up to seven strikes here, RP. Left lane for Kent. Yes! Cardio, like you talked about, top of the show, now is a factor. The bowlers never do this. It's something that you would never see in regular competition. 30 yeah. seconds left. Keeps struggling on that right lane to get the ball to come up around the corner. It's really the only lane he's missed on, I believe. Struck just about every ball in the left lane. Oh, oh ring no. a 10 pin, otherwise he would have had double figures. Trying to catch his breath. Oh my goodness, solid eight. Are you kidding me? Maybe time for two more if he really hustles here. Yeah, he'll get it off, he'll Got get it off. Hurry. Oh, the machine oh, the rack stopped. wasn't ready. Yeah, he's going to get a couple extra seconds to get this shot off. They're going to give him this last shot. Last one. Oh, he pulled it. Oh! That makes up for the solid eight. Take that, solid eight. Next up, Prospect Park. 11 for Marshall. Great start to the show. Really good on the left lane. He got a couple of shots that went light on this right lane. He was struggling just a little bit. You can see the athleticism. Damn good performance by Marshall Kent. What a start. 11 for Marshall. Marshall. Marshall, Randy, and Dave in the booth, man. Tell us how you're feeling after that two minutes of uh, speed bowling. Well, I thought I was in pretty good shape, but I'm going to need a minute to recoup from that one. But uh, you know, I feel like I did pretty much what I could do. and. Uh, Kind of the rest to see what uh, what Kyle can do. So I like my chances. I did all I can, and we'll just leave it at that. All right, Marshall. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome job, Marshall. Fantastic. Got 11. Now the defending champ. This is going to go home. So it's like a bracket, head to head, win or you're done. Here we go, Kyle Troop, defending champ. 11 a tie, 12 to win this match, head to head with Marshall Kent. The defending champ. Oh no. Cause him get help on the 10 pin there. Yeah, the, the other first. The other thing is that players are used to taking a chamois and drying their bowling balls off, getting that oil off. They can't do that in this event. Not enough time. 20 seconds in, got his first strike. It's a head-to-head -head matchup with Marshall Kent. There's the head pin. This is worth two. Big opportunity for Troop to get to four. Watson, got it! Wow, that's huge. Took a little extra time, and that gold head pin came up. Feeling the groove now is up to five. Yeah, quality shots right now by Kyle Troop. Oh, oh. ringing 10 pin, tough break left lane. You can see the multiple arsenal that these players have to use. That one just slipped out of his hand. 55 seconds, long way to go for the defending champ. He's in trouble. Got to get six more to tie. There's one. The time is now for Kyle Troop, or his night is over. And again, you got you to wonder, especially with the two-handers, with that oil that, that gets on the bowling ball, if that affects their delivery at all. Look at that, another shot that goes light. Under 30 seconds. Might have a new champ in Portland. There's eight. Gonna have to really hurry. Rack wasn't quite ready for him. All right, they stopped the clock. 
Now they'll start it. Looking for nine, gotta have it. Yes! yes! He's got a chance. 15 seconds to get two, gotta hurry, Kyle. Got it. One more at a time. He can get two. Yeah, for the tie for True. Yes! He did it. For the win, did he get it off in time? He did! I think he did! We need it's a ruling! A we need a ruling! No, they're saying no! I had four delays! I had to wait three times! I waited three times, come on now! Officially, that last one times. was late. I don't know, I think Kyle's got a point. You can see right here, he doesn't get it out of his hand in time. But I think Kyle has a good gripe. Shot off in time, it's an 11-11 tie. We are going to a roll off. What a start to the strike derby. One ball roll off. Marshall goes first. Kyle Troop as the higher seed could choose. One ball on the pin. Each player throws one shot. Gotta have a strike. So here's Marshall Kent looking for that strike. Got it! Troop's gotta match him. Imagine Troop now coming off of two minutes of speed bowling to try to gather himself and get back to what he normally does, right? Bowlers are tremendous athletes, but they're not used to this high pace, high octane, fast bowling at all. Troop to match. Yes! What a shot for Kyle Troop. Troop, there it is. Now Marshall looks for a strike in the second roll-off frame. High drama to begin our strike derby. Yeah. No. That right lane is tricky, as always, here at Bayside Bowl. Kyle Troop with a strike, wins and knocks out Marshall Kent. If he doesn't strike, we have another round of roll-off. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if Kyle gets less than nine, because you have to strike to win. For the win, true for a strike. Yes! Game, set, match, go! You won it! Let's go, how do you like that? Good match, brother. Of the hometown. Portland! Portland Lumberjacks. And as you might imagine, it's the strike of the day, sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Want to get moving fast with Same Day Mortgage? You can go from application to approval in as little as one business day. Time to get your dream home crazy fast. Learn more at rate.com. How about it for the energetic, the showman, the PBA Tour, Kyle True. Great stuff there by Kyle. Wow. Kyle, man, how did you pull this off? I mean, two minutes of speed bowling, and then you had to gather yourself for a roll-off. How did you get it done? That was a tough roll-off shot there, Randy. Still catching my breath, but uh, hey, stick to the process, stay in the moment. I know these fans got my back. I'm gonna give them everything I got. We're on to the next round, baby. Hey, son. Hey, uh, Kyle, I was with you on that uh, controversial finish. I thought you should have got a couple, uh, a couple extra seconds. Uh, how do you feel about how that went down? Hey, it's all good, man. It's part of the game. We uh, got to the roll off and did my job there. On to the next round. I'll make sure to strike more. So we ain't got to worry about it. All right, Kyle, congrats. <laughs> Kyle Troop wins the defending champ. Next, it's Belmo and Bai head to head. This will be tremendous. Jason Belmonte, big superstar of the game against Chris Bai. The PBA on Fox is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Want to move fast with Same Day Mortgage? You can go from application to approval in as fast as one day to get your closing on the home of your dreams in just 10 days. Learn more at rate.com. And by Bolero, the number one place to bowl, party, eat, and play with over 340 locations nationwide. 
Head to Valero.com today to find a center near you. Back at Bayside Bowl, packed as always, rocking as always. The best atmosphere on the PBA Tour. Let's take a look, Randy, at today's Brunswick oil pattern, the Mark Raw 42. 42 feet in length. And the players, they move in. They feed it right for the right-handers. Don't get it outside, say, the fourth board on either side. Jesper Svensson, the only southpaw in this competition. South Troop thrilling win over Marshall Kent. It was 11-11 after the two minutes in the strike derby, but Troop won by a roll-off, so Kyle Troop takes on the winner of the next match. Yes, Jason Belmonte, one of the big superstars of the game against Chris Vine, the two-hander. The all-time PBA major titles king with 15. He owns 31 career PBA titles. Seven-time PBA player of the year, Jason Belmonte. Jason, at the young age of 40, you happen to be the veteran in this group. This is a two-minute sprint. Are you going to let these young guys show you up? Yeah, well, look, these guys don't have uh, four kids like me. I've been chasing kids and running around. Rolling, That's a very good point. Rolling balls around the house for years. So, uh, you know, this is just a Monday afternoon for me right now. Oh, we'll see how that pans out for you. Good luck. Thank you. All right, KB, thanks. Jason Belmonte clearly is ready to go against the youngsters here. Belmonte, the fourth seed, fourth most strikes on the PBA Tour this year. Takes on Chris Fye, but it's a sprint for Belmo. We've never seen him do this. This is going to be fun. There's one. Troop has advanced already. Winning 10 pin on the second shot. It's a head-to-head -head matchup with Chris Fye. Winner moves on, loser goes home. There's two. He's kind of taking his time. Oh. Follow Jason's action along right here, folks. With each shot that he throws, there'll be a tracer up on strike track. He's not going fast enough, Randy. Yeah, he's not going fast at all. Not even close. Again, this is a very deliberate bowler. Now, here's the golden pin. Chance in the head pin position for two if he can get it, which he does. That helps a lot. He's up to four now. But only 67 seconds remaining. Oh, gosh. That's way off. That ball never curved, never hooked. Well, the best bowler in the world is not used to this sort of pace at all. No, and like you mentioned, he's one of the more deliberate players out here. Got five, 50 seconds to go. Left lane, can't find the one three pocket. Just has to have enough to beat Chris Five, but Chris is a lot younger. <laughs> is it? We know he's gonna go a lot faster, and is Chris Five is in serious shape. Yeah, he is. Is it possible we found something that, that we could possibly beat Belmo at? Maybe, I, I think we might have. Uh, another miss. He's got six with 20 seconds to go, Randy. So Chris Fye on the bench is thinking, hmm, this looks good for me. There's seven. He might be able to get two more shots off. Should. Here we go. Ten seconds. Rock starts again. Rack is ready. Uh, Bring ten pin. Tough break. Probably the last shot. Watching. One more. New. This is it, last one for Belmo. Looking for eight. <laughs> uh, didn't strike there. So, gonna get seven. Remember. My hands are as slippery <laughs> as they can possibly be. <laughs> well, he did get the golden pin strike, which helped a little, but he never threw two consecutive strikes in a row. And in a strike derby, that is not going to do it. Probably. We'll see what Chris Fine does here. Jason, it seems like there's a real big issue of not being able to wipe the oil off the bowling ball with a chamois. How much did that affect you in those two minutes? <laughs> uh, yeah, mate, it's uh, pretty pretty slimy balls right there. So, And it also, I think, affected uh, a lot of that ball motion. So, ah, you know, when you don't do it so often, you probably... Uh, 
don't, don't think of these things, but uh, now that uh, I know what happens, if I get another chance at it, I'm just going to put 23 bowling balls on the rack. That way, <laughs> I don't have to worry about reusing one. All right, Jay, thanks for your time, man. Cheers, mate. The 2021 U.S. Open champion and four-time member of Team USA, Chris Spy. Chris Spy is ready. The one title, a major. Knows about clutch bowling. Knows how to win. Needs eight to beat Belmo in advance on the step ladder. We're way off. Not only does it affect their throwing motion, right? Because they have both hands on the bowling ball, no thumb. Not being able to wipe that oil off the ball also affects ball reaction. Great point. He's going fast. This is bracket bowling. We had to move on. There is the golden head pin, but he misses his opportunity for two strikes. Got one in the left lane. You know, we talked about Marshall Kent being a gym rat. This guy here, forget about it. Probably the most fit player out here. Uh, Got to be between he and Marshall Kent. Got one left lane again. Up to five. Needs two to tie Belmo. Has to wait in the rack. They do stop the clock. So we in advance. Kyle Troop, the top seed. Defending champ is through already to the next round. One more. He's going to make quick work at Belmonte. Chris Fine. One more to advance. Nope, not yet. Plenty of time. Just needs eight. Another ring in 10 pin for the win again. Got it. Got it. That's it. Needed eight, got eight with 30 full seconds to go. And Belmo's day is done here at the PBA Strike Derby. Chris Vi is going to add to his total. time left the top strike total of course that first match with 11 Kent and Troop and all that matters is more than Belmo in this round and this matchup Not time for two more four seven last one Been after the buzzer, but it didn't matter. Chris Fire advances 11 7. Fun to watch. But Chris Fire looking good out there, looking fit. Yeah, looking real good. He's moving real fast. He's in great shape. He's got plenty in the tank for the next couple of rounds if he gets that far. But he took care of Jason Belmonte with 11, right? 11 strikes for the big guy, Chris Fire. Got off 21 shots, the most thus far by any player. Belmo, 16, and struck seven times. All right, let's go down to the floor with Chris. Hey, Chris, Randy and Dave up here in the booth. You know, arguably you're one of the fittest guys out here, but how taxing was the last two minutes for you? Yeah, I mean, it's not too often that we uh, run as fast as we can for two straight minutes, so it definitely, uh, definitely takes a toll on you for sure. Dude, you're not even breathing hard. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, I'm just hiding it well. <laughs> well done, Chris Five. Big match coming up, EJ Tackett, who will be player of the year in 2023 against that guy. The Iceman cometh, yes, for Spencer. And EJ, head to head on the way. Let's flash back, Randy, 2020, you and I call this. Jupiter, Florida. Strike Derby Championship, Chris Brader took home the trophy at Bolero, Jupiter. Then it came to Portland, Maine. Yeah, Andrew Anderson, man. Boy, did he look athletic. 
Knock off Anthony Simonson here at base high. Then last year, Kyle Troop, Matt Olga went head to head. You gotta like the socks, right? I mean, I mean, when he's not sporting the onesies, he's got the high top socks going, knee highs, whatever they're called. Heck, I don't know what those things are called. They were tied 12 strikes apiece in the championship match. Troop won with the longest strength of strike, six to five. So here is the bracket starting with the quarterfinals with eight great bowlers. Troop and Chris Fye have advanced off to the semifinals. He owns 21 career PBA Tour titles with four majors. The 2016 PBA Player of the Year, E.J. Tackett. Tackett, Spence it head to head. Quarterfinals. Chris Fye, Kyle Truth, the defending champ, have won already here. Tackett off the mark on the first oh. one. Wide right. Wow. Look at the power. He can bring it. The rep rate tremendous. 3J. Great athlete through there, too. I like it. Yeah. Golden head pin there. That would have been huge to trip the two there. Big on four, stays at two. Oh. No help on the seventh pin. Don't forget, we're watching the greatest in the world. <laughs> and look how hard this is. But this is not what they do on a regular basis at all. Oh, now he's got no carry. Waiting on the rack. Looking for a third. There you go. Okay. That's better the right lane for EJ. Yep. Look at just that one Aaron shot right there. The other ones look pretty good. There you go. Got the Motown Muscle shirt off for PBA League. Oh, oh come on. Come on, Tampan. Oh. Big breath right there. Like I said, these guys don't do this on a regular basis. About 30 seconds. Can't get a break, two pin there. Jesper Spencer is watching this for the number to beat to advance to the semifinals. Final 15 seconds. Oh! oh ho, ho. Way to help on the 10, Randy. Can he get one more off? Got to 11. Oh! A oh. little help on the 9 pin there. Waits on the rack. First player to get to 12. Wants a dozen. Got it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Try to get off one more. It's in the channel. But 12. And now we can take a break. What a finish for Tackett. They don't call him the squirrel for nothing. Look how fast he's moving even in slow motion. And then the tremendous power and ball roll. <laughs> I love this last it one. It was a two-hander also. <laughs> a for ah. effort. Good try, AJ. Wow. But 12, pretty good. Best score so far of the day. EJ, uh, you got off the most shots thus far. You threw the most strikes. But I want to know, how heavy did that 15-pounder feel towards the end of those two minutes? Uh, I really wish I was throwing about 12-pounders right now. Uh, it's like doing wind sprints, but throwing bowling shots at the same time. Pretty difficult. I don't know how many shots I got off. Obviously, a lot, but 24, 24 shots. 24. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. All right, well, save some energy. You're moving on unless Jesper Svensson can throw 13. Hey, you never know. This event's crazy. All right, man. Great job. Thank you. 
Every weekday, Cat's the most fearless voice in sports, Colin Coward, along with co-host Jason McIntyre, for a bold, unique, and outspoken perspective on the day's biggest stories, the Herd weekdays at noon Eastern on FS1 on the Fox Sports app. He owns 11 career PBA Tour titles, the 2016 PBA Tournament of Champions winner, Jesper Svensson. Jesper Svensson underway. Hey, Jesper Svensson with reactive resin. What? What is going on? He's going to hook the lane. One for one, two for two. Oh, my goodness. Maybe this is the right decision. I wonder Got if he's going to throw urethane as well. Everything's been reactive resin thus far. Got the first two. There's three oh, out of four. Oh, oh, oh. Score to beat in this quarterfinal match is 12. We're going to force another roll off. He gets the 12. He may surpass that pretty quickly here. Yeah. Oh, already. I was really looking forward this to this. This is for two. Got it. Six. Jesper doesn't do anything fast. He's taking his time here. That's big. Golden head pin. Make it seven. But it's all about quality. Wow. And no urethane. Amazing. Full minute to try to get five more to at least tie EJ. Up to eight already. Plenty of time for Svensson, the superstar from Sweden, the Iceman. Ooh. That's way high. Uh oh. Highlight. He's got to pick the pace up. Try to time out that rack. Going right down. Got another one. There you go. Nine, 33 seconds, needs three, not Get easy. Moving. No! Two more. That's just for the seconds. tie. You gotta have two to tie. Come on, Jesper, yes! There it is, one more. For the tie, he could this probably get two shots on. This is the tie. Got to have this one. Oh! oh. Got to have this. Six pin. Has to have this one. Last shot. Last chance. Yes! Oh! Trip no! seven pin. No way! It's a tie. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that shot? Oh. Amazing. Who said yes for Spenson can't use reactive resin? Another roll off. Wow. And a chance for the Iceman to catch his breath. Incredible. Watch this pin action. This is incredible. Look at that. Pins diving all over the back of the pin deck. All tied. 12 apiece. How about this? He got off 17 shots and tied EJ. EJ got off 24 shots. Second time already in the quarterfinals. We have a roll off. Each player gets one shot. Got a strike though. The roll off will continue until one, only one player strikes. EJ will lead us off. His wife Natalie in the back. <laughs> Rooting him on. It's a sign to. Big fat head sign there, right? Pretty cool. You know, with all the bowling balls that are on the racks that these players have thrown, it's like, which ball do you choose? Roll off underway for EJ. Got it. Beauty. Great shot by EJ Tackett. Now, Jesper Svensson must strike to stay in it. Or it's Tackett who moves on to the semifinals. Now, you see, he gets a chance now to wipe that oil off of that bowling ball. Wonder what the ball reaction is going to be like. Different than the sprint pace we saw a moment ago. Is it going to hook more? Got to have a strike. Has it? Man. We continue the roll off. Let's see how EJ responds. What a finish that was. Incredible. And what a crazy, crazy event. I mean, they go from a full sprint back to what they're used to. All in a matter of seconds, really. 
second roll off frame. Yes! And EJ keeps it going. Svensson has got to match him. Winner to the semifinals. The joint troop and Chris Five. Has to match him. Doesn't get it, that's it. And EJ Tackett advances and a roll off to the semifinals. Take on the winner of Anthony Simonson and Matt Ogle. Another round. DJ survives. It wasn't easy. Matt Ogle's had a lot of success in Savannah in the past. Head to head with Simo, the sensation. Simonson Ogle on the way. More great PBA strike derby action is on the way. And we asked some of the bowlers of the PBA Tour who might play a villain in the movie. That's the subject Let's of go. today's pressing questions with Kimberly Presser, presented by Go Bowling. If you could cast any bowler in a film as the villain, who would it be? Hmm. It's got to be Anthony Simonson. I'll go with Simonson. He takes that role pretty well on the PBA Tour right now. He's got that little bad boy of bowling vibe going on. Uh, so I think if you gave him the full green flag to be a villain, yeah, look out, world. Simo's coming. Or Pete Weber. Pete Weber. Who do you think you are? I am. I think Pete Weber would probably play the perfect villain in any movie you put him in. That's right. How about you? Could you be a villain? Oh, absolutely. That sounds like a lot of fun. Ooh, a villain. I guess if Belmo turned heel, I think that'd be good. It's got to be Belmo, right? Belmo's one of them. He could be a villain. I don't know if I would be a villain. Maybe it's because we all have some against him because he beats us every week. Jason, would it surprise you that a few people have nominated you for the role of villain in a movie? No. No, because they don't like me. And I don't like them. So I'm happy to be their villain. <laughs> if you could cast any bowler as a villain in a movie, who would it be? Tom Doherty. Why? He just looks like he's naturally bad. What are your thoughts on you being cast as the villain? I think I could pull it off. It's rather uh, natural for me to be a jerk. Yeah! He can't beat me! I'm a natural. Oscar award winning, no problem. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> Is it Simo? I don't know. Uh, Anthony Simons is definitely one of the bad boys of bowling. No question about that. Also one of the best bowlers in the PBA Tour. So Troop by Tackett have moved on to the semifinals. Uh, PBA Strike Derby start with eight great bowlers. A few have been knocked off here. A 13-time PBA Tour champion with five major titles, Anthony Simonson. Anthony, you have become runner-up in this event two different times. Is this the year you walk away the winner? Uh, I hope so. I know Ogle's uh, obviously really good at this, so I'm hoping that if I don't throw too many strikes, he just throws one less than me and we'll move on to the next round. Now, you are the higher seed in this. Did you decide to go first or second? Uh, I was back and forth. First I was first, then I wanted to go second, then I wanted to go first, and I'm just going to go with first and put up a score and see what happens from there. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, Kimberly, thanks. Ogle, Simonson, two superstar two-handers head-to-head. -head. I like the idea of going first. Then you can rest if you do have to worry about a roll-off, which we've had two already in the quarterfinals. Sensational Anthony Simonson. Youngest network PBA Tour history to win. One, two, three, four, five majors. But this is different. This is speed bowling. And he starts off with a seven pin. First strike for Simonson. Well, Simonson's got a lot of experience in this format, and he's young. Oh, hey. there we go. Little break. Oh, 
Looking for four, but it'll be five because he's got the golden head pin. And he cashes in, that's huge. Up to five strikes, it's worth two. Right lane magic, half a dozen. Getting in a little groove now. Oh, jeez. Ringing 10 pin, great shot. Doesn't matter though, it's gotta be a strike. Flat down that time. No break. Left lane. No. Last couple on the left lane, a little spotty. Light. Resumes. Looks for eight. Got it. It's about finding a groove. Incredibly consistent. Oh, whoa! No, I did not hit the temper. Tackett and Spencer had 12. Troop and Kent 11. Looking for a new high. 15 seconds. Baker's does it, yes! A new high in the competition. Maybe time for two more for 14. Brooklyn hit it! Oh, it didn't get it. Last shot. Oh, and a Whoa. flat ten. Oh, no help with the messenger. Oh, great round. Yeah. 13. Great round. Incredible. Mm -hmm. A lot of talent. Yeah, he got in a nice groove too, and he was just rapid firing. Watch what he's doing coming off of each shot. He literally runs and then slides to the next lane. And it's so crucial to get that golden head pin for two. The form and the strike. That's something for Simonson. All right, let's get out on the floor and talk to Simon. Anthony, you look like you could use an IV right about now, but describe just how difficult the last couple of minutes were. I mean, I honestly think I have so much adrenaline going through me that I might have been able to do another two minutes. Now, after that, I might have needed some IV. Well, uh, I feel like 13 is a good score, obviously. I know Matt's capable of throwing just as many strikes, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think it's a great score. Way to go, man. Thanks. Now, Matt Ogle is next up. A two-time PBA Tour champion and 2022 Strike Derby runner-up, Matt Ogle. Came so close last year. Lost in a tie break to eventual champion Kyle True. Here's Ogle from Louisville, Kentucky. Off to a great start. Keeping a close eye out for that golden head pin. Not just for the, wow, what a start. Two strike count, but it means a lot more to a lot of folks watching today. You know, I thought 13 was gonna be really tough to beat, but there it at, is. Look at Ogle go. Got the gold head pin, got the strike. He hasn't missed yet. He just scored the fifth strike with a golden pin. You know what that means. There's another one for Matt. Everyone just won a free game of bowling at Bolero Centers across the country. Head over to bolero.com slash PBA right now to claim your prize. Way to go, Matt Ogle. And thanks. He's up to eight. Ogle is on fire. My goodness. Wow. Doesn't matter which lane ran. He's up to 10 already. With a full 58 seconds to go. Left of left. No crossover. See the lines there on strike track, folks. You can see that last shot he threw on the left lane. But Ogle is just lighting it up. My goodness. 11 with 48 seconds left, 47, 45. Incredible. Oh There's my. 12 already. Amazing. This for the tie already. Got it. No kidding. He is totally locked in. 
Here's the win. Yep. There it is. Yes. No problem for Matt Ogle. He's In advancing. Incredible. And still, 25 seconds left. Well, I missed the pocket that time. Simonson, like the rest of us, in disbelief. Yeah. Not even looking. 15. A new event high. Already off to the semis. 10 seconds to go. He's exhausted. Five seconds. Wow. What a performance. Matt Ogle moves on. Thanks, man. Incredible bowling for the two-hander from Louisville. I mean, he was locked in early and just never took his foot off the accelerator. Strike after strike after strike to start, and there's the most important, the golden head pin. M Matt, what an incredible, <laughs> incredible round you just had there when Simonson posts 13 strikes I'm thinking wow man that's going to be hard to just even tie you go out there and throw 15 in a row or 15 strikes rather why so good in this event for you I really don't know uh, you know I just feel like I don't I don't try to make the best shots I just go up there and throw the ball uh, I mean they're not the lanes aren't that difficult I just got to make sure I get over the front and uh, I feel like the, the ball is going to do the rest of the work well new strike derby record for you my friend congratulations you're off to the next round thank you sir Fifth strike with a golden pin. Awesome job by Matt Ogle. Everyone just won a free game of bowling at Bolero Centers across the country. Head over to bolero.com slash PBA right now to claim your prize. Thank you, Matt Ogle. Awesome. PBA Strike Derby here on Fox. More fantastic strike action on the way. Defending champ is that guy, Kyle Troop. Welcome back. Bayside Bowl, PBA Strike Derby here on Fox. Dave, Randy, Kimberly, our entire crew. Portland, Maine, except for the semifinals. <laughs> Through support of the bowling community, Bowers to Veterans Link has raised more than $56 million for veterans since 1942. Beginning next season, BVL will be the official charity of the PBA Tour. For more, Kimberly Preston is laying side with Vietnam veteran and PBA Hall of Famer, Johnny Petrani. So Johnny, you have been part of the BBL for the past 50 years. So how do they help support veterans? Well, these are the men and women all across our nation that risk their lives every single day. And, it, and when they end up in a VA hospital, they need our, our help because federal funding stops at rehab. And that's when we come in with therapeutic that we end up paying for. Well, it sounds like a perfect thing for us to be paired up with. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you, Kimberly. Appreciate it. Kimberly, thanks. And Johnny, thanks for all your efforts. A fantastic cause there. Troop 5. Defending champ Kyle Troop will watch Chris Fai go for as many strikes as possible in two minutes. First round, both players, Chris Fai and Kyle Troop, struck the same amount of times, 11 for both players. And there was a re-oil, folks, folks, so ball motion will be a little bit different. The players can go a little bit straighter to start. Wow, what a start here for Chris Vi. Looking for three for three. Oh, bringing 10 pin. And Messenger is knocked at the 10. Three for four. Blistering start for Vi. Oh, nice. I'll tell you what, you better have some leg strength. Hold the head pin. That would have been worth two, but just the two pin stands there. These boys are going to sleep good tonight, aren't they? That's five. Good timing with the rack. Make it six. He timed that nice, didn't he? Perfectly. That, that rack wasn't even up, and he let go of it already. And he struck. 70 seconds. You can see it. Seven strikes. Looks for eight here, over a minute left. Got it, trip 10 pin. Yeah. 
Nine strikes, less than 50 ticks left. Can you imagine trying to do this back in the old days when they had to set the pins by hand? That would have been a mess. Here's a lot of plot of lanes, probably. Over 40 seconds for Vine. Four pin. Quickly to the left lane. Looks for 11. Got it. Clock rolls. 12. Looks for another. Oh! Ah, uh, yeah. Two better than his first match. It's all about having more and advancing. 14. Looks to equal Ogle at 15, which he does. Looking for 16. Chris Five. Oh, man. Sand pin. Come on. Left lane, last shot. Oh, he did Are it again. You kidding me? Back to back, ringing 10 pin. Yeah, man. He had a great shot at 17. Can you believe that? 15 <laughs> strikes. Equaling the best we've seen in the competition from Matt Ogle. Kyle Troop has got to get 15 or more. 15 for a roll off, 16 for a win. It is not going to be easy. The all new Undisputed is here. Skip Bayless is back. Joined by NFL legends Richard Sherman, Mike Lurvin, and Keyshawn Johnson. Undisputed, weekdays at 9.30 Eastern only on FS1. Kyle Troop, defending champ. Got to get to 16 for a win, 15 for a roll off. This is going to be a huge challenge for KT. He's going to have to be almost perfect. Keep in mind, Chris Vi threw 21 shots, 15 of them were strikes. Wow. That is incredible precision and accuracy. And Troop is looking for his first. Not a good opening 20 seconds for the reigning champion. There's one. Got a long way to go. Forever. Golden Pin needs this really badly and doesn't get it. That would have been worth two. One opportunity at the Golden Head Pin. He's already in trouble. Big yellow climb. That misses way light. Big trouble. Look how far right he's going, oh, folks. Look at the strike track on the side of your screen. Kyle Tripp, former player of the year on the PBA Tour. Showman of the game. The pro with a pro. But he's in trouble now. Looks for his fourth. Oh, boy. Way off. Another light hit. These bowlers are not used to this fast-paced NASCAR type bowling at all. Regular right return of play, shot clock, plenty of time. Nothing like this. Looks for six. Damn, that ball is dust. He's got no chance to catch Chris by here. There's help across the deck for a sixth. But time's about to run out on the defending champ. We have a new winner here at this event. He's still giving it his all. Tons of fans here for Kyle. He wants to put on a show for him. Great competitor. That ball. <laughs> he said that ball's done. It's got so much oil on it, he won't even grab the lane. He is gassed. Chris Vi moving on. Hi, Kyle. Good finish. <laughs> he got nine, but way short of Chris Vi. <laughs> He's off to the championship. 15 to nine. How about Vi? Extraordinary bowling. Chris Vi has moved on to the finals. The question is, who will he face in the championship match? We'll have a new winner. Matt Ogle's been so close in the past. We'll see Matt coming up in the semifinals against this year's Player of the Year favorite, EJ Tech.
Getting ready for the second semifinal. We're having a great time at Bayside Bowl. Here's the PBR Fan of the Day, sponsored by Paps Blue Room of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Ask for the original, and please drink responsibly. It's Connor Schmidt, local league bowler here at Bo Pobe. Call him Squeak. Great to see him here in the house. And ready to watch Hackett, Ogle, head-to-head. -head. Second semifinal, Chris by 15 people. Matt Ogle's prior best <laughs> in this event. Good thing Squeak's got a bucket of lubricant sitting in front of him. <laughs> He's having a great time. We're having an awesome time watching these bowlers. Underway, Ogle. 120 seconds up on the board, here we go. It's amazing last time, ringing 10 pin on that shot. Looks for a second. Good start. Ogle and by with their big numbers. Yeah, last time up it was 15 strikes and 19 shots. Now that's incredible efficiency. Two two-handers left. Golden head pin, no. Chance for two, doesn't get it. And one player that uses his thumb. Uh-oh. Got four. Trip four pin. For six. Got it. You know, I don't even think Matt's looking down to see where he's putting his feet on the approach. I think he's just kind of gauging based on the target he's looking at on the lane, and then he just kind of positions his body where he thinks it should be to throw the ball in the direction he wants to throw it in. Looking for number nine. You bet it. Left lane for Matt. Not even watching. Mm. Looks for double figures. <laughs> it's got a little bit of room, too. A, a lot of time. Right. A lot of time, RP. A little left, a little right. A lot of striking. Oh. How many ringing 10 pins have we seen here? A lot. For a Baker's dozen, yes. Quickly for 14. Impressive. Oh. Man. Wow. Man. To equal his best, 15. Ho ho. Are you kidding me? You see the look on EJ Tackett's face? He got, go he got 23 Let's shots go off and 14 strikes. 42 shots he's thrown, showing 29 strikes <laughs> in four minutes. Don't try that at home, folks. Do not even think about it. Oh, he thought he had that one for sure. Somehow the eight pin still up for Matt Ogle, but an amazing effort nonetheless. Registration for the 2024 PBA LBC National Championships is now open to bowlers of all skill levels. PBA LBC National Championships is heading to a new location outside Chicago, Illinois, and includes two new junior divisions. You can compete in singles as well as optional doubles and team events. You can combine your scores with the pros. Enter today at PBA.com. Here's EJ Tackett. Ready? Your fantastic 2023 PBA Tour season. Sure was. Player of the year. It sure was, but right now he's got a tall hill to climb, doesn't he? <laughs> Get to the final. Got a surpass, 14 from Ogle. Good start for EJ, that play, wow. All right, two for two. That's how you do it to begin the strike derby. This round, semis, three up, three down. Takes him longer to set up because he's got to get his thumb in it. Four for four. Listering start for EJ. That match Golden head pin, there it is. Yes, we're two. Up to six. That was huge. Another one. Oh, he's perfect. Man. What a start for Tackett. Hasn't missed. Trip 10 pin. That's eight. Ooh, finally. A four pin. 
What a start for Tackett. Brilliant. No! no help across the deck for the 10 pin. Stays at eight. I like the backpedal technique. Now nine. Waits for the rack to get set. And here we go. 55 seconds. Another one. Double figures. Incredible. He's got a great chance. Got to get that one out. Get Moves that to the corner left out. Lane. Yes. 30 seconds needs three to go around Matt Ogle. There's, There's one late trip 10 to Ty Ogle. He's yes. Got one more for the win. And 21 seconds on the board. He can take a breath here. Just needs one for the victory and the finals. EJ Tackett. Does yeah! It. Does it in EJ Tackett? Incredible. Style. Matt Ogle says, hey, that's awesome. Incredible. A Brooklyn strike it is two. Incredible. 16. <laughs> Why not? Got a new record. 16 strikes for the sure thing player of the year in 2023. E.J. Tech and take a breather. You deserve it. 16 strikes for the three seed. He's off to the championship match coming up from here in Portland, Maine on Fox. Come on, baby. The PBA on Fox is sponsored by Go Bowling for friends and family fun. Log on to GoBowling.com to find a center near you. By guaranteed rate, want to move fast? With Same Day Mortgage, you can go from application to approval in as fast as one day to get you closing on the home of your dreams in just 10 days. Learn more at rate.com. And by Bolero, the number one place to bowl, party, eat, and play with over 340 locations nationwide. Head to bolero.com today to find a center near you. They're battling for that trophy. By Tackett, head-to-head -head strike derby here on Fox. Dave, Randy, our entire crew, along with Kimberly Preston. Here we go. So far today, Randy, amazing effort from these two. Incredible. I, I, I didn't think that EJ was going to get past Matt Ogle, and sure enough, he has the highest strike total of the event. Neither has won a PBA strike derby title yet in their great careers, but here we go. First time winner on the way. Ready for the championship match. Here we go, five. Lower seat goes first. It's a good Great thing. start. It's a good thing, too, because it gives EJ some time to rest. Got to recover from that. It's all about a good start. Oh, ring a 10 pin there. Big prize money on the line here today. Top seven in terms of strikes in the PBA Tour this year, plus defending champ Kyle Troop. The stats from Lanetalk.com got us to this point. Start with eight, down to two. Golden head pin there oh. for two, but could prove costly. Yeah, the eight pin. I mean, this Stands. guy's this guy's a horse, Dave. I mean, what a stud. Jim Rat, great shape, strong as an ox. And then there's this little guy, EJ Tackett. He just oh, defies the heck out of it. He just defies the odds, doesn't he? Amazing athlete. One hander. Over there for Chris Vise. Got seven. Vise had 15 against Troops. Nine strikes in the semis. But EJ got the 16 against Ogle. How much gas is in the tank, though, at this point of the night? It's not easy. He's got a big tank. Well set. Left lane. Oh, oh come seven on. Pin. Come on. Messenger, yes. Go. Enough for the 10 pin. 40 seconds to go. Look for the double figures. Got it. for 12. Got it. 
I mean, that ball barely leaves his hand, and he's turning his back going to the next lane. Wow. EJ knows he knows what he's up against. Trust me. He's like, I got to do this again. Whoa. No. Stand by. A little malfunction there on the right lane. And that looked good, too. It did look good. Chris <laughs> having some fun. Came right back up the channel. <laughs> you tell me. Ready to resume. Looks for 14. Got it. Man. Great shot. For 15 equals best. Another one. That's it. Done. Wow. <laughs> 21 shots off, 15 of them strikes. EJ Tackett to win this will have to duplicate what he did in the last round. I'm not sure that's possible, but I didn't think Chris Fye could get back to back 15s, which he's done. Extraordinary effort for Chris Fye, the two-hander from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> and the yeah. sweep comes down. Yeah, a it's, the only thing. There. it's the only thing that was stopping Chris today. <laughs> Doing the best they can to keep up those machines. Not easy. Thank you, thank you. Final round score. Championship 15 strikes. So we'll see. 15 for a loss, 16 for the win for Tackett. E.J. Tackett somehow, some way, has got to get to 16 to win it. The last time in the semifinals, struck on his first seven shots and eight of ten. Tackett underway. Four pin. Already off from that last pace. Missed that one by a lot. He knew it. Look at the lines. And watch his backswing. Watch the height of his backswing. Okay, looking for help. No, the nine pin stands. No strikes yet. Not the start he wanted. Oh boy. He's in trouble. Big trouble. 30 seconds in. Yes, got the first. A huge mountain to climb now. Yep. Gold pin of the night. The final golden head pin does get it for two. That helps to get him to three. But a long way to go. That's a high shot. Only gets six. That's Left lane. Close. Yep. Everything's going face now. I'll take a deep breath here. There is a lot of time, but he has got strike base on every shot. Looks for six. Nope. A minute to go. There's six. Trip ten pin. Got to have this. Nope. Just seven. Time's running out on Tackett. Chris Fye is about to win the PBA Strike Derby. No, oh, ringing 10 pin. I mean, really good shot, but doesn't matter. We're going to give the check and trophy to Chris Fye, and we're going to buy EJ Tackett a couple PBRs. <laughs> Not even a Brooklyn Strike. Brader in 2020, Andrew Anderson this building in 2021. Kyle Troop last year, Chris Fly hoping to get the crowd up for EJ. Oh, good Emblematic Lord. of the entire competition for EJ. Just cannot get anything to go down for him. There's one. Final seconds, and that's it. That's a way to finish, EJ. No quit that kid. Thank you, guys. Chris Vine is the 2023 PBA Strike Derby champion. Way to go, Chris. The satisfying moment of the match is sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. How about it, Chris Vine? Chris, you really fought to get into the winner's circle tonight. You took out Jason Belmonte, Kyle Troop, and then EJ Tackett.
Tell me about your performance tonight because it was pretty epic. Yeah, uh, I think the first round I, I started too quick. Uh, you know, Jason only had seven or eight, so I didn't need a ton, but um, I was just going full speed. And after you know a few seconds, I was like, all right, let's let's calm down a bit. And I got into a really good rhythm, and uh, I was just kind of able to feed off that for the last few rounds. Is this the cherry on top of the 2023 season for you? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, it's the first trophy I got this year, so it's got to be good for something, right? Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Kimberly, thanks, and what a night for Chris Vi here in Portland, Maine. A huge crowd, sold out as always, rocky as always. Hands it off to Mama Vi. There you go. As he should, that's a good son. The 2024 PBA Tour on Fox begins Monday, January 15th with the PBA Players Championship. Stay tuned to PBA.com for the complete 2024 tournament schedule exclusively on Fox Sports. Coming up next, it's the NFL on Fox. And now for Randy Peterson, Kimberly Preston, and the entire crew. It's Dave Ryan saying so long from Bayside Bow in Portland, Maine. You've been watching the PBA on Fox. What a night, PBA Strike Derby. The fourth edition of this fantastic event goes to Chris Fye. The talented two-hander from Columbus, Ohio, gets it done. He wins the Strike Derby, thrilling the crowd here in Portland, Maine.